Well, hello everyone. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. I'm still waiting to see if this is going to work. I'm actually okay. It is working. This video is entitled Jesus is in the fire with you. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Jesus is in the fire with you. Remember the Hebrew boys. What God was telling me is that the reason why a lot of people are going through it right now and he's allowing the fire is because it's purifying you. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. You see it's only when you go through that you get close to God. Come on somebody. That's why I told you the other day. You ought to thank your enemies. You ought to thank your trials. You ought to thank your tests. Thank you. You push me closer to my God. Thank you. You made me go down to the threshing floor. Thank you. I came back up with power. You thought I was finished but God said Oh, come on. It was a setup for a comeback. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So let me take you what God was saying. You remember when King Nebuchadnezzar, because we're in those days, believe it or not. We are in those days where King Nebuchadnezzar's spirit is still alive, where men think that they are God and they want you to bow down. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And God is saying this. I have 7,000 that heaven bowed down. Oh, come on, Psalm. Time. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He said, I have 7,000 that heaven bowed down to the spirit of Baal. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So Nebuchadnezzar got mad because they wouldn't bow down, especially to the statue, right? So they threw the Hebe boys, Daniel, what? They threw them in the furnace. But I want you to understand what he said. He said, Nebuchadnezzar said, King Nebuchadnezzar said, hold on. I see a fourth one. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. He said, I see a fourth one. Were there not three? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. God is saying, no matter what you go through, I don't care how fiery it gets. I don't care if they try to burn you. I don't care if they throw you in the fiery furnace. I'll be with you. I'll be with you through it all. I'll carry you. I'll commune with you. I'll teach you. I'll keep you. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says after that, they got them out. And here's what happened. Their clothes were not stenched. Their clothes were not burnt. They had not even a smell of smoke. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God is saying in this hour, hold on and be strong. Although you're in the fire, it is not designed to kill you. It is not designed to break you. It is designed to build you up because you got to go to this destiny. Come on, somebody. I'm talking to end time people. I'm talking to the remnant of God. You have somewhere to go. You have a destiny place. Come on, somebody. Oh, hallelujah. And God is preparing you. That's why it's been hard lately. That's why you've been going through up, down, up down. He said he's preparing you. Come on, somebody. Because that's why you're going through the valley. The valley is what? Up down up down but he said here's the deal the fire is not to kill you he's pruning that stuff out of you come on somebody hallelujah he said that he's consecrating you come on somebody hallelujah he said that he is purifying you come on somebody hallelujah because where you gotta go you cannot go in the state that you're in oh come on somebody hallelujah we have a church and i'm gonna tell you the mainstream church and i'm talking about mostly famous ones yes i am pharisees and sardisees spirit Come on, somebody. They look the part. They act the part. They talk the part, but they don't move in the part. Come on, somebody. The kingdom of God is not just in word. We can preach all day. We can teach all day. Come on, somebody. But the kingdom of God is in power. And God say, I, right now, am equipping people that possess the carriers of the power, the carriers of the glory. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You don't hear what God is saying. God is doing it. He said, I'm tired. I'm tired. Why is it that the first generation, the second generation, the third generation, but this last generation don't have what the first and the second have? He said, nay, yes, they do. You have to believe it. You have to see yourself as God see you. I'm telling you, God got the fire and it's burning you right now. It's burning you. It's burning you. But guess what? It's equipping you. It's making you stronger. It's strengthening your mind, your soul, and your body. Come on, somebody. Because God is getting ready to do something that I'm telling you, you have never seen. Because let me tell you something. The body of Christ is... It's not where it's supposed to be. And that's why God is pruning it. He's pr That's why all this stuff is happening. Because God is just what he's sifting to wheat from the test. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all know it's the truth. You ain't going to be able to get by on that entertainment spirit no more. You ain't going to be able to get by on that lying spirit anymore. You ain't going to be able to get by on that shucking and jiving spirit anymore. You ain't going to be able to pass no dollar bills. Come on somebody. And it's all about money. Prestige. God say I'm looking for a people that walk in power. That can lay hands. That can heal my people. That can deliver my people that can speak a word and it's 
really real and it's not fake and tainted. Because guess what? Most of you are fake and tainted. Come on somebody, let's just be real. You have not learned the position and the power of God because you have an untrained ear, God said. Come on somebody, hallelujah. What's happening is you got holy mixed in with unholy. And so therefore the body of Christ is confused because you don't have a trained ear. And how come you don't have a trained ear? Because you have not been listening to the voice of God because you've not been spending time with God. Oh, come on somebody. Only can a trained ear identify what is not of God. Oh, come on somebody. Let's go here too. Then God told me, say, I got another point for you, Deanna. He said, don't even know who I am. I said, God, why are you saying that? He said, okay, let's say, you know why you go to go to a morgue and identify a body? That's because you've had a relationship. And they say, okay, mother, father, or whomever, come identify the body. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. God say vice versa. You can identify him. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. He said you don't know his voice. Hallelujah. You don't know when he moves. Y'all think everything is of God. It be foolishness. It be nonsense. And y'all say oh that's God. Come on somebody. You don't know God because you cannot identify. What am I saying? God say there's an identity crisis in the body of Christ. You don't know who you are. Oh come on somebody. You're not walking in your authority. You're not talking in your authority. You're not moving in your authority. Come on somebody. This is not about show. People are dying in the spiritual and the natural come on somebody God said they have spiritually deaf ears they cannot hear me he said they cannot hear me because they don't know me God is causing everybody to have a relationship a real one to him and this was you have requires time come on somebody and that's why you're in the fire and guess what he said you're not getting out the fire until he see that you look like him hallelujah 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 to his name so I pray in the name of Jesus that you have understood what I've just said. Because this is the times that we're in. It feels like it's going to break you. It feels like it's over with. It feels like they left you. It feels like you're fighting by yourself. It feels like you're tired. It feels like you're losing. But God say, I'm setting you up for the greatest comeback of your life. Hallelujah to his name. God bless you. This was a word from the Lord. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers.